Hello everyone, Thomas Cal here with Pinnacle Luxury Homes Group, your expert in real estate in the greater Victoria marketplace. I got four big mistakes for you today when buying a condo. Number one, bylaws and pet restrictions. Number two, what way is it facing? Number three, depreciation report contingency fund. And lastly, parking spot and storage locker. And if you stick around for the end, I got a bonus tip for you. Number one, bylaws. Read the bylaws before purchasing that condo. Are there pet restrictions? Are there a size in pet that you can have? Is it under 20 pounds, over 20 pounds? In two or three years, you might wanna buy a pet, whether it be a cat or a dog. Also, rental restrictions. Very important to read the bylaws to see if there is rental restrictions. Can you rent your condo out if something happens or if you wanna move and keep it as a property or an investment property? Uh, is it some rentals, only two or three units in the 50 unit complex that can be rented? pretty tough if you do want to rent it to be one of those two or three condos that are able to rent. So very important to read the bylaws. The second th thing is what way is it facing? Is it east facing? Is it north facing? I wouldn't recommend the north facing condo. It's pretty dark in there for most of the time. Is it east facing? Do you work during the day and you come home in the afternoon? Well, if you're buying an east facing condo, by the time you get home in the afternoon, you're not going to have any sun in there. Maybe you want to look at buying a west facing condo so when you get home at 3, 4, 5 in the afternoon, you actually get some sun inside your condo. I always recommend buyers that look at a condo, view it in the morning and view it in the evening to see the differences in light. Third, depreciation report or contingency fund. Very important to read the depreciation report and see what the amount of money is in the contingency fund. Does the whole complex need a new roof in one to two years that's gonna cost two to $300,000 and maybe there's only 100,000 in contingency fund. Last thing you wanna do is move into a condo and in six months or 12 months have to come up with 10, 15, $20,000 of special assessment to pay for a new roof or new balconies because there was no money in the contingency fund. That could have been avoided if you read the depreciation report and the contingency fund before you purchased that condo. Fourth, parking spot. Where is that parking spot? You probably use that parking spot, I don't know, every day when you come home, when you leave in the morning. Do you have a truck? Is it pretty tight to get in? Before purchasing a condo, and I think this is really overlooked by a lot of buyers, go down to the parkade and check out that parking spot to see if it's feasible for you. Maybe your vehicle can't fit or can fit. Is it easy access or is it pretty tight to get in and out? Very important to look for as a parking spot prior to purchasing that condo. And lastly, the bonus tip for you, never buy next to an elevator. You're gonna hear that ding every time someone presses that button or when people are waiting, you know, maybe late at night or early in the morning, people are gonna be talking. You're gonna constantly hear lots of noise by next to an elevator or above a parking garage. Last thing you wanna do when you have that window open in a hot summer day is hear that garage door go up 50, 60, 70 times a day gets annoying after a while. If you have any questions about real estate and buying a condo in the Greater Victoria Marketplace, feel free to reach out to me, give me a call, check out our website at pinnacleluxuryhomes.com, drop us a comment or a like below, or reach out at any time. Thomas Callow, Pinnacle Luxury Homes Group, your expert in real estate in the Greater Victoria Marketplace.